Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I would like to start off by showing you something really weird that happened with my deagle. So this guy was trying to grate me in the ocean over here, and I basically just said, nope, nope, give me you, sir. I don't know exactly what happened there, but whatever did happen, I think I definitely did emerge victorious, and then I was rewarded with like this water gun desert eagle. I'm not saying the water guns aren't cool, I think super soakers are obviously out of style now, but... Of all the water guns that you could have, a Desert Eagle water gun is pretty nifty. And I thought that was weird until this happened. It, some, the game somehow wanted to reload a magazine into like a dismantled, g I don't think that's the way that physics work, dice. I, you wa, what? A, it slingshotted back together, so it fixed itself, but I, I don't know exactly what happened there. I, I can't explain that to you. I didn't go to university in Stockholm, so I don't know the way that Swedish physics work. I, I just can't explain that. I'm sorry. Tide goes in, tide goes out. Can't explain that. I don't know. I, I don't know, man. I, I can't explain it to you. The first thing you're going to notice about this patch, though, is that there is now a ready up screen followed by a countdown screen. So depending on the, the team size, you're going to be waiting for five to eight players to ready up, and then you'll be brought to a countdown screen in the game. And it's basically time for your teammates to say hi to you. Like, look. Hi. 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 And Kia was a little bit mad at me, so... Bow! He decided to team kill me, or admin kill me. Just... I was teasing him the previous round about his performance, and he was not particularly happy about it. Taco Cat was also on his side, but I don't really trust Taco Cat, just because, you know what they say, what does Taco Cat spell backwards, but... Another major feature that you're going to notice about this new patch is that the visual recoil has changed significantly. So, this is old footage here. You see how my sight was violently shaken around, especially the, the dot in the very center of my coyote sight? That has largely gone away. It's not completely gone, but it's largely gone away. So now, it doesn't really matter exactly what your sight is doing. The red dot in the middle of your screen will stay pretty well static, no matter what your weapon is doing. I think that's a positive and a negative. So, number one, it has made each gun a lot easier to use, but at the same time, that has just turned into every... I would say every PDW, every carbine, and half of the assault rifles are now just casual, batty, easy mode in terms of aiming. A lot of people have changed to the heavy barrel. I am sticking with the muzzle brake just because I find since there's so little recoil or little visual recoil on the guns now, I can just pick off headshots so easily with the muzzle brake. But at the same time, if you want to use the heavy barrel, especially on like the ACWR, the SG553, some really dominant weapons after the patch, all you have to do is control your recoil and it turns into a laser beam. So that's... That's a really great feature in terms of the muzzle brake and the heavy bear. They're both very usable now. The suppression is a, bit, is a little bit different. So obviously here I'm getting suppressed. The corners of your screen get darker, almost like you're having a tunnel vision attack. It's sort of a, an odd mechanic, but I like it a lot more than it was what it was previously. I think the new suppression mechanic is great. Bow! Get wrecked, Carl. So this is the new hit marker. Basically, the, the rundown is that any sort of time that you're doing a lot of damage or like a really high amount of damage with a certain round or a, a bullet, it's going to be a really large pronounced hit marker, like if you get a headshot. But if you hit somebody in the legs, it's going to be a lot less pronounced. There's also a new medic mechanic. Basically, there's a countdown or a window of revive. It's like a triage system for teammates that are around you. And at the same time, your paddles now beep once they're charged up to 100%. That's a great feature because nobody likes 20-point revives because they're terrible. Here's how the deagle has changed. So obviously from that range, it's still very, very deadly, but look at it just beyond that range. I two-shot both of those guys, it was all pretty easy, but even this right here. Okay, so there's two hits on him, he didn't go down, he did 96 damage, so he's got four health left. This guy, I hit twice as well, but at the same time, he's still got three health left. So there is a rather pronounced deagle nerf in terms of the range. You can't just two-shot people across the map anymore, it's just not the way it works. Now check this one out. 1 1000, 2 1000, 3 1000, 4 1000, 5 1000, 6 1000. I say about 6 to 6. Give me your sandwich, Hawk. All right, so 6 to 6 and a half seconds is the duration of the flash on the new flashbang. So it's actually pretty significant if you want to clear rooms really quickly. I do welcome that change with open arms, but it does get kind of annoying when everybody on lockers is just spamming flashbangs over and over. The net code is not fixed, all right? I don't, I don't care what other people have said. That. I have had instances like this over and over and over again where I am a solid three feet behind cover and the bullets still manage to help hit me. I don't care what they say about, oh, we've improved it. Oh, that could be like a five to 10% increase that is not even noticeable. It's marginal and 
basically unnoticeable in my opinion. Yeah, I still get shot around corners. The net code is not fixed. It might be slightly better on paper or on a spreadsheet, but it is not all that noticeable in game. I still get shot around corners really frequently. And yet again, there's still just a lot of weird bugs and glitches that it seems like they're never going to be able to eradicate. So look at this one. Edgar somehow walked in that puddle and then just died. And then I tried to see what exactly happened to him. And randomly, that puddle just killed me. I didn't get team killed. I didn't get run over. I didn't get ghosted. It's just something about that puddle where I just randomly die. That, that's something that is just very annoying that the patch did not fix and I don't think will ever be fixed. The random bugs and just glitches that happen with this game, I think they're pretty well unfixable just because they're so inherent to the engine and head glitching is also another annoyance that I thought was going to be somehow marginalized but I bonked my head on that post because I got admin killed for doing it but yet again firing bullets out of your forehead another can mechanic that I don't think they will ever fix just you know head glitching spots like this like I am looking through a little slit right here and I'm just cheesing I think there's another few spots that are just like that throughout a lot of the rush maps especially where it's just it's just not all that convenient, and it's really, really annoying. It's really, really annoying. And on that on that same thought, Rush is not fixed. I think they moved around a lot of the MCOMs just to shuffle things around to try to improve them slightly, but yet again, they just put the MCOMs in the wrong places in general. Rush is not fixed. I'll try to dedicate an entire video to talking about that, but just so you know, Rush is not fixed. It's not that fun. It's not like it's a completely new game mode or revived at all. This is one mechanic that I did really like. You can make all of your HUD customizable now in terms of what disappears when you aim down sight. So personally, what I like is I like all of the enemy visibility to be 100% and then all of my friendly visibility to be at 40% and then everything else to go away. So see, as soon as I aim down sight, all the other clutter goes away. So all I see are friendly and enemy vehicles and friendly and enemy infantry. That's a really, really great mechanic. I don't need to see flags. I don't need all this other HUD clutter, but see how this is just a perfect example of I want, to be, I want to be able to see the enemies the most prevalently, but I still want to know when teammates are there. So here's a perfect example. Okay, so this guy's running away. Now see, I've got all of this HUD clutter on my screen, but then I take out my SRAW. Now, especially look at the flags. Look at the flags. Great. So all those flags and all the clutter, and then they all go away, and I can focus on that orange target right in front of me. I completely welcome the new HUD system with open arms, and I'd like to show you exactly how... I did this whole system because I think a lot of you are eager to have my same setup in terms of only having targets that you want on your screen as soon as as soon as you aim down sight. So go to your options, go to gameplay, and then go to advanced options at the very bottom. And what you're going to want to set to, you're going to want to scroll down to, to common HUD world icons. I like the size to be 100, scale with distance to be 100, and just because things that are farther away, I like to be a lot smaller, and icon visibility to be 100, but then... Object visibility and zoom, zero. Interaction visibility and zoom, zero. Pickup visibility and zoom. And explosive ammo, medic, medic pack visibility, all zero. Because I don't care about seeing those things when I'm aimed down sight. I only care about seeing where my my friendly teammates are and where the enemy targets are. So in terms of enemy world HUD icons, I like to, to be 40% larger than default and everything at 100%. So it doesn't matter if I am aimed down sight or not aimed down sight. If somebody's spotted or there's any kind of enemy on the map, I want to be able to see him at any point in time really strongly whether I'm aimed down sight or not. But then in terms of friendly HUD world icons, I like the size to be a default 100, but the icon visibility in zoom and the health bar revive timer visibility in zoom and the info visibility in zoom, all 40%. So I want to be able to know that they are there but I always want, want to be able to see enemy targets or their certain spot icons a lot stronger or a lot more visible than, than I do the friendly icon. So I want another there, but I want their opacity to go significantly less. So I, I want to be able to see through them a lot easier, but I always want my enemy targets to be stronger than the friendly targets that are in front of me. But that's exactly what I'd like to tell you about the patch. Hopefully that will help you out in terms of solving all your HUD clutter problems. I'll have more dedicated videos to exactly what I think about Rush and some of the other game modes, but for your bonus clip, I'd like to show you a SRA cruise missile. I'm sure a lot of you already know about this, but I just thought it was pretty nifty. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I will see you guys next time. Auf Wiedersehen und bis bald und Gator!